Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Puck and Solitude on Newkirk Precinct. Yes, this is patch 3.8. I apologize for the delay, but I was out of town right after the patch release. Up until Sunday, the next Sunday. And uh, I got home on Sunday night, cast a couple games, and this is the one. Alright, so on the bottom left side of Newkirk Precinct, we have the Red Protoss player. It is Puck. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the Blue Zerg player. It is Solitude, with a little spinny logo of someone I should know. Is that Snoot up there? I'm trying to decide who that is. That's probably a pro gamer of some kind. I did see Nurchio tweeted that he had one of these <laughs> available to throw up. So that's pretty fun stuff. Some really fun things going on with StarCraft 2 right now, I think. I'm also going to go ahead and get started on the Nova Covered Ops uh, Mission Pack number 3 starting tomorrow. So watch out for that one and we'll hopefully get some more uh, new patch stuff coming at me. I requested new replays from the new patch from all of the usual suspects. Got the Railgun, got the Emperor M, got the Genix, got uh, who else is on that? Dead Zerg is also on that list. So meanwhile, StarCraft is indeed happening as they say over on Life's a Glitch TV. Do they still cast? I should look. I should look instead of asking these questions. Alright, so it looks like it is going to be here Puck went for... Is that a... That was a... That was a Nexus first out of Puck. Feeling very brave against Zerg. Zergs, again, have been complained about being overpowered in this latest patch, especially pretty much all through Legacy of the Void, but especially this one here, uh, wherein Hydra range was increased. That seems to be something people are talking a lot about on Twitter. I was on Twitter while I was up in Idaho, but... Uh, didn't have access to my PC to cast, or I definitely would have been. Third hatch on the way for Solitude. Hot diggity. Both players feeling extraordinarily greedy in this one. Has anybody scouted? Yeah, looks like uh, Koala Puck here has indeed scouted. Koala being one of his aliases that he streams under. And Solitude again working on that second and third hatch. He is just now finishing his pool, just now getting his speed up. There is no aggression plan whatsoever from the Zerg player, at least for the next couple minutes, and Puck has to feel pretty good about that one. Second Nexus up and running, it's 22 to 21 Harvesters. Puck has a bit of a lead there. Cybercore on the way, double gateway here as well. This could be a double adept push out, based on the fact there are two Nexus here, and that Cybercore with two, uh, two gateways tells me we're likely just gonna see a double chrono boost on two adepts. A slower Lord for Solitude comes right on in, sees exactly what is going on, notices that Nexus is a little bit early, and it's gonna be a Stalker and a Sentry. Interestingly enough, Soccer Sentry opening, so going back to Wings of Liberty a little bit here, might go out with the Mothership Core as well? I don't know, we'll see. It's going to be very interesting, interesting play here indeed. Out of Puck, perhaps this is the new meta. I gotta watch, I gotta watch this new meta settle down and figure out all new strategies and build orders and stuff. That's what this is all about. All right, so holding the line, it looks like this is a defensive opening. Stalker to deal with any lings that come this way. Force field in case there are a lot of lings that come this way. As Zealot and another Zealot. Double Zealot coming out from Puck to follow it up. This is crazy talk. Some lings out here, handful, about six or so, eight. Specifically for Solitude. Got that speed just now finishing. Ding, there it is. And heading on across. This is the new map pool. So this is new Kirk. And if I understand right, this is basically going to be a lot of the old maps. But they're kind of recycling into this map pool. Not all old maps, but there are a bunch here. Third one coming up. Oh, I remember this map. Forcing a cancel on that third. Puck tried to make it happen, but then Lynx showed up, and they got the paw. Oh, they got the probe, too. No Lynx dead. No Lynx dead. Forcing a third base to die. That third base is so darn wide open. I do remember... Did I ever cast on this map, or is this even older than my oldest casts? Faster Lord running away from the Stalker Sentry combo. Get out of there, Faster Lord. Go. And there it is. Oh, does manage to get out of there with 24 hit points to his name. That's why you get speed for those overlords. They don't have to suicide in there anymore. So third hatch up. I have to imagine that we'll see Hydras at some point, but Roach Warren on the way for Solitude. Lings again trying to get in here, but there are Zealots, there are Sentries. There is a Stalker there. Oh shoot, ran away a little bit too quickly there, did Puck. I think he's gonna get it, forcing him to cancel. Force field's beautiful though. Oh, saving his Nexus. Saving his Nexus. Oh, with the force fields. Look at that. One, two, three. Puck. Puck, you are so good. How are you so good at this game? Robotics facility on the way. Twilight Council coming up as well for the Puck. And a lair just about to finish for Solitude. One evolution chamber as well. Lings really want this thing. I don't think there's enough anymore, though. 
He has lost three of them. I feel like the three lings made all the difference there. And Puck is sitting right on top of this third base. So, I mean, the sentries are not going to hit super hard, but lings don't have that much HP, so it doesn't really matter. Crete spread a little bit uh, lackadaisical, I would say, for Solitude. Extractor there coming up at the third base. All other extractors have been taken at the first. No, I'm a liar. Only one extractor here at Solitude's natural or main base. That's weird. That is weird. But I guess for roach production, you don't need that much gas. So he's making 11 roaches right now. Is he getting speed for the roaches? He is. He just now started speed for the roaches. Zealot legs on the way. That was something that was buffed. That was something that was buffed. A little bit more speed on those zealot legs, which I've heard is pretty good on the ladder. They're a little bit faster. They can chase stuff down instead of just getting kited forever. So roaches are out. They will have speed. It's an interesting play from Solitude. I feel like Puck is probably expecting a ton of Hydras. But instead, it's going to be Mass Roach with Glil Reconstitution off a of three base timing here at the six minute mark. So I don't know what that's all about. Hallucinate Phoenix will come in and see the Roach Warren and actually is going to scout all these roaches too. Some Ravagers morphing in at the same time. So it's not just straight Roach. Obviously, you do want some Ravagers. In Legacy of the Void, immediate immortal production begins out of Puck. Is that his first one? That is his first one. And it's 55 to 55 harvesters. Both these players doing pretty darn well. Drop Lord attack here in the main base. Run, probes, run for your lives. These lings, do they have any upgrades whatsoever? They do not. Uh, but neither do the zealots. And actually, both zealots die. Lings coming back on in to this probe line. Puck retreating with the probes. Pretty good micro. He hasn't lost any at this point. And then they fight? Wow, did he lose any? He lost two probes in that drop attack, which is not bad. And actually, Solitude picking up some of the lings inside this drop lord, moving them into the natural base, causing more stalkers to get warped in, causing an immortal to get warped in as well. Solitude says, you know what? Fine. You don't want me here. I understand. I get the message. Is that a warp prism? Warp prism here, trying to do stuff inside the main base, but there are all the roaches and a spore crawler here too. I don't know, man. Puck, why would you... Okay, at least not much can shoot up, so that's good. Warp Prism is getting stabbed by the Queen, but should not actually die. Ling's running into the main base again from that Drop Lord. Another probe dies. The harassment, pretty good so far, I would say. Wow, that was fast. Good charge on in there, Zealot. And takes down another probe, but loses some Ling's in the process. So five rogue probes have been killed. It's 64 to 69 Harvester. Solitude has a minor lead on that one. Resources lost with this dead Overlord. is about even, 750 to 550. Where Protoss Puck has lost a little bit more. Fourth base coming up for Solitude as well. It's going to be a Zealot Immortal Sentry Stalker composition, which again is so, so Wings of Liberty. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that composition. Just bringing me back, man. Here come all the Roaches and all the Ravagers that Solitude has. 151 to 116 total supply. Not looking good, I would say. Where did my production tab go? There it is. Spire on the way. Ling's holding position inside that mineral line and then backing on out there. Still no Hydra Den whatsoever. War Prism trying to sneak up to this third base, but there are Lings, there are Queens. Solitude's map awareness has been really good here. And actually, heading all the way back home is Solitude. Does not like that Immortal count. There are three now. Any upgrades on those guys? Nope. Plus one attack is on the way, but not quite there yet for Mr. Puck. And yep, going to knock down this debris to take a fourth base, sneaking ever closer to Solitude's side of the map. Bam, there goes that debris. All right, so Solitude, I feel like, there we go, 13 mutas. Got to make this up a little bit. So he does mix it up. He's going 13 mutas, plus one missile attack on the way here. Going to max out, I feel like, any second at this point. Just Koala's, Koala Puck's harassment has been fairly non-existent right now. I mean, everything's been Solitude for the first eight minutes anyway. Warp Prism hasn't even really been able to unload all that much. Another Hallucinated Phoenix gets taken on down. Did it scout the Spire? Where is the Spire? Spire's right there. Yes, absolutely scouted that Spire. Mutas, find the War Prism. Ah! Oh, War Prism, you dead. Zealots got unloaded in an attempt to save them. Not going to happen. Lings, Roach, Muta. This fourth base is in so much trouble. I know there's a lot of Zealots here, but not much can shoot up. There are like five Stalkers and a couple Sentries. Muta's coming right on in here. Zealots on the ground trying to deal with all these Lings. Roach is doing mean things to them, though. Pretty good stutter step backward by Puck. Great positioning. In this situation here, Muta's on top of everything, though. Holy shamoly, everybody is going down at this point. The Immortal's going to take care of these roaches fairly well. Archons morphing at the last second, though. Great job. Great job there, Puck. Getting some Archons flying on in. The Muta's bypassing those Archons entirely. Going to try to sneak into this main base. Couple cannons chasing them away. Killing one of the Muta's. And Mothership Core gets taken down. Photon of a Charge is thrown down before anything else can happen there. A couple Stalkers here at the natural base. Gonna get burned down by this large group of mutalisks that are in the sky. 14 of them. 11 more on the way. 
Just basically going mass muta at this point is the solitude. Yeah, okay, so hang on. What else is different? Ravagers are biological at this point. Didn't they say they're going to make them armored? I'm trying to remember all the changes, but anyway, we might, I don't know if we're going to see carriers in this situation. That's something that was changed, and fessers were changed as well. Ah, uh, what else am I trying to remember here? Again, the big change was kind of the Hydra, and Solitude has no interest whatsoever in going Hydra. So, when at this point, it's going to be Archon, it's going to be Stalker, going to have to deal with these mass mutas some way is Puck, and so far, I'd say he's doing fairly well. For, did he save the fourth? He saved it, didn't he? He saved the fourth base somehow. Those mutas got a little bit greedy and left it alone. Mutas flying in here to the natural base. Photon upper charge is right on up. Phoenix now. Ah, oh, great play. Great play from Puck, getting those Phoenix out. Mutas are still super duper annoying, but now they are fleeing in the face of those Phoenix. I'm uh, going to take down the Cybernetics Core. Yep, getting the Cybernetics Core. Nice hit there by Solitude. Another Mothership Core dies, getting right on top of these Phoenix. Are these Mutas? I'm not sure that's where you want to be. Plus two Flyer Attack. There's the Hydroden coming out here from the Solitude. So we've got Archons on the ground. Plus one attack complete there. And indeed a Fleet Beacon coming out for Puck. But no, Roaches and Raviders at the fourth base going to town. Zealots are trying to hold the line. More Zealots coming on in. But Zealots against Roaches is never a good time whatsoever, but the Immortals show up and do chase everybody away at this point. That is five Immortals with plus one attack. Don't mess with that. Don't mess with Texas, and don't mess with Immortals if you're pretty Roach-heavy, as Solitude is. So it's 68 to 67 Harvesters. 13 probes have died. Two drones have lost their lives so far. 160 to basically a maxed out Zerg. Puck is down a little bit here, but man, he's going on. Oh, Nyan Pulse Crystal at this point. There's the Grooved Spine upgrade for the Hydras, giving them that extra range, which is even longer than it used to be prior to this patch. And it's getting the speed upgrade. It looks like he is not getting the speed upgrade at this point. There it is. Muscular augments increasing speed by 25%, even off that creep. So Puck's managed to keep his third base, no, his fourth base, while Zerg is pretty much stuck on four bases as well. A small handful of Roaches come in here, get absolutely murdered. I think he's just trying to free up supply at this point. Muta's flying in while there's a distraction of the natural base. Good reaction time by Puck, fleeing. Making those probes run for their lives. Phoenix flying on in, killing a bunch. They have that upgrade, not quite yet, but it's very close to being there. And when it does, I feel like these Phoenix are going to be good. But the Hydra transition, oh, 21 Hydras in production for Solitude. And I don't, I mean, at this, maybe Colossus, at this point, if you, if you're Puck, I, mm, I don't know, man. Zealots are bad, Immortals not super good either. Archon's pretty good, but that extra range is so great. Baneling's getting morphed in here as well. And another thing was these guys get 10 more hit points when they get speed. Muta is just sitting on top of the natural base. The Phoenix are here, though, with that upgrade. And I think this Phoenix Cloud might just straight up die. Uh, or the, the Muta Cloud might just die here. The murder of Mutas. The Phoenix aren't you really even microing that much. And I think they're going to take them down here. The fourth base ends up dead there as well. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed by Puck. And all the Mutas are gone. Solitude trying to remax here with Lings and with Hydras. C coming all the way back home here is Puck. And where's the army? Here it is. Here's the army. Centrifugal hooks or centrifugal hooks just about done here. They'll get 40 hit points to their name, which is a nice upgrade. Their range for the Hydras has finished a range of seven. Seven range is so dang good for these things. Oh, boy. All right. So it's going to be a Ling Hydra Baneling composition, all of which is very low HP. I just feel like five or six Colossus would murder this. Would murder this so bad. Maybe some Immortals in the front to absorb the Baneling hits. But these Zealots are going to be utterly useless is what I'm worried about for Puck. Uh, they don't do well, I guess, against the Lings they do. But Banelings are going to crash on in here. Phoenix flying around trying to kill Overlords, trying to supply block. Solitude. Hydra is heading on down south to try to deal with these Phoenix and just dancing around a little bit here. More Banelings morphing on in. See, the Banelings do have 40 hit points instead of 30. Phoenix lifting queens, causing so many problems here, but is going for the fourth base. Solitude does not care. Lings leading the charge, getting murdered by these cannons. Banelings off to the side. They don't want to hit in anything at this point. Zealots coming from the back. Banelings on top of them. It looks like Puck is just acquiescing and just losing this fourth base entirely. That is so many Hydralisks. Oh, the Nexus ends up falling. Corrosive Bile being thrown down to try to finish something off. I don't know. Koala is supply blocked. 176 to 173. Available supply. 
Archon's in the front, I guess. I just... This is so dang intimidating right now. Coming into the third base now in production. I don't even know. I don't even know for Puck what he's doing. Baneling's rolling on in and pretty much single file line, which is good for Puck. But this third base is going to die. The range on these hiders is taking it down from range. Baneling's crashing on top of Immortals. Not where they want to be here, but more crashing on top of everything that is available. A lot of stuff dies there, but all that is left is a few Phoenix and a few Immortal and a couple Zealots. A whole ton of Hydras marching up into the natural base. That is 35 Hydralisks coming right on up. Basically trying to base race this as Puck, though, has taken down the third base entirely of Solitude with Zealots. We're turning into a bit of a tricky situation, I would say, for our Zerg friend. But he is not sending anybody home whatsoever here. He is producing some Hydras and some Lings. But these are these plus two. These are plus two zealots, ladies and gents. Morphing some banelings in. Can he get the banelings before they hatch? I don't know. These zealots are just, or the zerglings are distracting them. The banelings are allowed to pop and bam, taking out a bunch of zealots. But there are still several remaining here. It looks like about ten or so going to town on this natural force fielding off. Oh, the main base, but no, the crows of bile getting rid of the force field. Excellent job there. Puck microing to within an inch of his life right now. He can force field that ramp indefinitely as he does have about 10 sentries in here. Is he going to win this game? Maybe with the power of force field he can do it. Are there more Ravagers? No, just the one Ravager here. And there it is. There's the force field. There's the corrosive bile. Another force field. You got to do another force field. Losing a sentry. Another force field. Small group of Hydras here. And another corrosive bile. Boop. And another force field. Oh, Guardian Shield coming up. Force field, not quite enough. And that is it. Ah, oh, Puck. Puck leaves the game. And Solitude is def or victorious, rather, for the Zerg. So, woo, tech switch into Hydra. A little bit too much there, I think, for Puck to handle. I don't know, man. His Zealots. We are down to eight and nine workers total. Nobody had a bank. Yes, there are some banelings here, but I feel like some good micro from Puck could have at least taken down some of these buildings. I don't know. I feel like Puck maybe could have made this thing work if he had just been a little bit more patient. Maybe come back and fought by these photon cannons. Maybe thrown up some guardian shield. The immortal ended up with 16 kills, which is pretty good. But man, that is a lot of Hydro with plus two attack right at his front door. So... Rough stuff there, but man, that is kind of the state of ZVP right now. Hydras, how do you deal with them? Maybe Disruptor, maybe Colossus. Maybe we've got to bring back that splash damage. So that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.